Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And it's iced coffee day. It's hot. This is my first video since my trip to Ireland. I'm home. I picked up a bug, of course, like you do on the plane, I'm sure. Sounds worse than it is. I rode my 50 miles yesterday and I do have a recap video for that that you've either already seen or you will, depending on how quickly I can edit it. So I went to Dollar Tree, I was super excited, and then I ran to Marshall's, and I wanted to show you the one thing I picked up at Marshall's. Okay, I got two things, coffee. It's uh, the Bee's Knees Hazelnut ground coffee. Nothing exciting there. But Halloween and fall is out, which we expect, but look what I found. I am dying, look how sparkly. And this is glitter, but it's not coming off. But these are beads glued on here. I'm absolutely dying. And let me tell you how much this Beauty Black Cat was. $7.99. Not lying. I'm dying. So I love a bejeweled Halloween. Like jewel tones and sparkle like this. I don't like a creepy Halloween. And this will go perfect on my mantle with some other fun stuff around it. So I grabbed that because I was not leaving that behind. That was a treasure. All right, Dollar Tree. This is a pretty big haul and there's some newer stuff, which is exciting. There's also some breakable stuff, so we'll get that out of the way. This item is not new, but I think I don't have any and I needed one of these to go with something else that I got. So it's just the glass, the glass vase that nothing special, but I bought, this is new this year or to my Dollar Tree. When I say new, I always just mean because I've never seen it before at my Dollar Tree. You may have seen it last season because things definitely change seasons. Um, but look at the size of this glass vessel. It was $5 in the $5. No, it was not in the $5 spot. It was in with the other glassware. And they had some $3 and some $5, but it was mixed in with all the other like greenery and stuff. So I thought this would be fantastic, right? Putting this inside, I may have to raise it just a bit with a piece of foam and then filling it for the holidays. So for fall, maybe with some small pine cones and then putting a candle in here and keeping it safe. The other thing you could do is buy this and buy one of those white candles that they sell. Um, yeah, so either way, but I wanted two that went inside of each other. This is a little shorter, but it's not a big deal at all. I wouldn't fill this up all the way, but it makes it easier that you're not filling this whole thing with whatever you're purchasing. Also, for fall, I could fill it up with coffee, like coffee beans. And then you put your glass in here and then it protects the candle that's burning unless you're smart and use a electric candle and then you don't have to worry um the, also in the five dollar spot for halloween and i did a short on this uh this will be a thumbnail for sure here let's get that out of our way oh i shouldn't hide my black cat He's sinking. Oh, there we go. He's from the dollar spot, I think last year. And this is from this year. I don't know. It says Hocus Pocus. And he's is gonna go up on this side through Halloween. I love it. Um, five dollars. Cat litter bags. I'm telling you guys, if you get plastic bags, they're great for cat litter. Um, okay, also glassy. I know that this is not new, but it's new to my store. I have not seen these this year until just now. But they're and maybe I've seen them before. I can't remember, but they're the black and white plate. 
Um, this screams Halloween to me. And what I'm thinking is getting like a pedestal of some sort and gluing it like a candle holder, two different heights. Cause I got two. Yes, you can make a tiered tray. They didn't have the big plate to do the tiered tray. I mean, I could also put one um, candle holder and make it a tiered tray of the same size. That's totally fine as well. But I thought these would be great for Halloween because they kind of have that vibe. And then I can put some of my um, small decor on it. I have some colorful pumpkins and stuff I could put out. So I just grabbed the two salad size plates. That's all they, well, they had the bowls, but I didn't think I needed a bowl. Um, I'm not eating off of them. I'm just using them for display. Okay, more fall. I don't know if these are new or not, but I think they're fan stinking tastic. Um, they do have the new fall sticker on them. It just says artificial pampas. And they're like feathers. Oh, something under my nail. They're like feathers on a wire and you can spread them out. I'm gonna leave them together for now because I'm not ready to decorate with them, but I did get one of each color because I love the variety. And I will put these in some type of a display. I could even just lay them, like lay them on my mantle obviously a little more decorated than that but I could totally lay that up on my mantle or have them standing up near my cat I could so these I just grabbed they were a dollar 25 and you got one and it had I mean it will fluff up it just needs to be zhuzh and I'm not zhuzhing right now also you'd have to cut them down a little bit but these vases are great. You can fill it up with whatever, cut these at different heights, open them up, and now you've got this fall fluff, which I think is fantastic. Mm. Excuse me, my nose, my cold. All right, um, what else did I get? Oh, here, we'll go to this bag, because this was my first haul, and I was kind of sad, and then I was like, well, don't be. Um, I found these in with the office supply stuff and they are coin envelopes right so you can put coins however i'm pretty sure a gift card will fit perfectly in this size i got these for uh my advent calendar this year for sarah and michael um i think this will be great to package up some small things and you get 15 of the large size, 20 of the medium, and 30 of the small size. And like I said, this one, I'm pretty sure will hold a gift card. And you can decorate the outside and just kind of make it your own. But I thought these were great for crafting. So I grabbed those. And then I got... To do a review, uh, HTV Ront sent me a new heat press, and I need to do a review on it, and I wanted to try some of the iron-on stuff from the Dollar Tree to see how it does with a professional-style press, and if I could, what, you know, I would get. So I grabbed a few different things to try. I got this one here that I think it's just the words that are, yeah. So it's just the words that are sticky that I can put on. And then I got another pack of these fabric shapes. I have the llamas and I have birds and feathers. No, cats and feathers as well. And then I grabbed a couple patches to try because, again, these are all different textures, thicknesses, and feels. And so I wanted to see how this press handled a variety of items i know it will work with heat transfer vinyl and i know it'll work with eight or dvt but how does it work with things that we've purchased that are already made which was kind of my thought process so oh, i thought i had all this in this bag i also have the fan on because i'm hot did i say that already i'm hot um okay and then oh i love this navy blue fall oh I was hoping to find 
ribbon in this color, but I didn't see it. So, and these are the pre-made bows that have the hard plastic backing. So you can use these outdoors on wreaths and things. I only grabbed the two because we got a whole long season ahead of us of fall and I wanted to see what was coming, but I wanted to share. They had these in all different prints at my store, at my stores. Um, oh, these are definitely new, oops, new to me as well. Um, my word of advice, if you see them, is check them out really well because they were, a lot of them were chipped in their glass candles in the shape of a pear. And they had this in orange and yellow, and then they have this green um, pumpkin or gourd of some sort. And, um, I didn't get the yellow pair because I'm like, well, I already got the orange and this can go, I have some existing, I don't think there's any scent to it. There, um, I'm not smelling real good right now, but I don't smell anything. And like most glass stuff from the Dollar Tree, it does need a wash. So I will wash these lids and then just hand wash the outside. Like I may send the lids to the dishwasher. Um, this one is a smoked and this one in the green is not. Um, but I just thought these are really sweet for a dollar twenty-five, and they had them in like I said, this in the yellow, clear like this, but in yellow. So when it's time for me to start decorating for fall, I'll pull out my tub of fall stuff. I want to purge some things. It's just time to upgrade, so we'll do that. Um, I think that was everything here. Nope, lies, Lori. And then I found this in the back to school section and it's just lip oil, watermelon. Let's try it. My lips have been super dry. Let me put that with the trash. Oh, it's very sturdy. I will tell you that. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. It unscrews here in the middle. Okay, it comes out. It's got your little doe foot. oily. I can't, I can't tell if it smells like watermelon. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice lip oil. Doesn't feel like it's going to dry my lips out where some do. Um, I don't, again, I've got a cold, so I don't know if it smells or tastes like watermelon, but I think this is super cute. Anybody like your tweens would love having this in their like back to school kit, if you see that. And then I have one bag left and I picked up a few things. These are not new, but I feel like these colors are new. Mine last year had like blue and pink. And I'm not, that's not my fall vibe. I don't do like pastels, but these are just foam mushrooms, which I am loving the mushroom for fall this year. And I thought I could mix these two in a bowl or basket or lay them about. Um, they're super lightweight. You could totally stick them on a wire if you wanted to put them in a floral bouquet of some sort. It would go with these. The colors, at least, would go with these as well, which is nice. Um, they did have they did have some other colors. I think a yellow and maybe a blue, but I don't remember. But these are the two that I liked, which is a brown and an orange. I'm a, I'm a traditional kind of fall girl, I think. I don't care for the pastels. And that's just me. And that's me this year. Who knows what next year we'll have in store. I mean, my, you know, we tripped. I change up things. Let me move that out of the way so I can get that behind me. Oh, I found some fabric. And I don't always buy the fabric, but I just thought this was really cute. So we have this fabric with foxes and hedgehogs on it. So sweet. Here, I can open that up. Because I also want to get these stickers off. I don't like storing my fabric with these, um, with stickers on it. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Oh, and rabbits. Look at that. That is some fun fall fabric right there, guys. So you have mushrooms, rabbit, fox, hedgehog. And then they had an accent color that will go with all of these. I'll show you this, this plaid. These are fat quarters, I believe. 
And if you're not into sewing, a fat quarter is like a quarter of a yard of fabric, but it's measured in a different in a different angle um, or direction to allow you to have a larger piece of fabric for the same price. So this is the plaid. And it will match all of the fabric. It's, well, most of the fabric that's out in this this new line, um, because I'm digging the mushrooms this year. Um, I got this fabric here, which is mushrooms and leaves, and I love it. I think this plaid would go. Yeah, that goes. It's the same color family is really what gets you. And this is completely different, but I was thinking I liked it, and I was hopeful that when I opened it up, I would, and I do. <gasps> oh, it says, hello, fall. And there's barns and little scenes, like little vignettes, a camping scene, a cottage, a pumpkin patch, a fantastic house. Oh, look at this fantastic red house. You could 100% make something with this. I mean, obviously you could cut it out and do fancy cutting and fussy cuts. I wouldn't do that, but you could. But I love it. And I think these are gonna make maybe some project bags for fall stitching. But for $1.25 is not terrible for a fat quarter. The quality is not terrible. I would say the quality of this fabric is definitely right up there with Joanne's fat quarters, the pre-cut ones that they sell. I mean, it's nothing special. It's not quilter's quality, but for crafting, it's perfect for everything you could need. And for the price, you cannot beat it. Now, they have this new in my store this year. It's a garland type thing. I mean, it's, hold them. I got two of them. So I wasn't sure what I'm doing. So it's just your beads, but they all had something a little different on them. Um, some of them had like a metal pumpkin, a metal maple leaf. There was an egg corn and this mushroom and it just hangs straight. And then you have a little tassel at the end, but you have enough ribbon or give way to use it as a garland in a tiered tray, hang it up. You could go sideways with it, but I am dying for these mushrooms. So I grabbed two because I thought, you know, if I want to do something longer, I will need more than one, depending on what I tr depending on what I wish to do with them. But I wanted mine to match, so I got the two pumpkins. These are not new, but I think the middle pieces are new. Um, it's a round ornament with beads, and the beads are loose on this metal ring, and then in the center, you have a wooden. Like this is a maple leaf and it says, hello, autumn, which I love. And the quality is fantastic, painted front and back. And what I may end up doing to be fair is separating these. I love this for some small cross stitch decor, um, decorations, put it in the middle, glue these on the outside. And now I have like a Christmas, de uh, Christmas decoration. And then I can use these wooden things for different. So I got one in a natural that says, be thankful. And that one says, um, happy autumn. And then you have your bows, of course, because if it doesn't have glitter, it has a bow. Again, I'm just giving up and accepting that that's how life is in the Dollar Tree. But I grabbed two, they had a truck and they had one that said blessings. The blessings was an oval and I thought it was bizarre in the middle of a circle. It didn't fit my feng shui in my brain because it's a, a circular, ornament and then an oval pumpkin or something so and then they had a truck but I'm kind of over the truck so I went with these two because who doesn't love a maple leaf and then the last thing I got which I am absolutely dead for and I gotta fix him let me see did I fix him no he wants to lean too forward it's a metal gnome that says eek. The problem I have right this second is when I stand him up, he's front heavy, but I think up in here it's bent too far forward. So I'll just jimmy it and get it to bend so that he stands more upright. Oh, like that. He, I fixed him. I just want him to stand upright. 
so you can see his because he's on a spring so if it bob he bobbles around i literally found one of these random in the store i didn't see any other so somebody either bought them all up or he was just like a random in a basket and they should be getting more i'm hoping they have more i would love a cat a black cat but for now we have him we're gonna fix his little sign and he is gonna stand up straight and proud in my something tear tray probably isn't he everything so that is all the things that I got this time at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed my haul. It was a pretty big one with a lot of new stuff. And I'm so excited to see what fall and Christmas have coming for us. All right, guys, you have a fantastic time. And I will talk with you later.